This is my first time talking to a camera in a cafe. It's a bit weird. <laughs> All right, we have 60 people joining, and as you can see right here, are you copying project from YouTube and put that on your resume? Oh boys, stop doing that. Today I'm gonna tell you how I come up with a project idea so you can do it too and we're gonna build cool project together. Let's go. So this is my first time talking to a camera in a cafe. It's a bit weird, uh, you know, it's like, but the good thing is like right now, there's like only a few people here. So I feel a little bit uncomfortable if there's more people, but as of now, it's fine. And so right now I'm checking the scrim bar. It's a really cool way to learn how to code. So if you do not know, like, so when we learn how to code, usually we watch video from YouTube, right? and then we copy the code into our tag editor. But here in Scrimba, you can do everything inside a browser, like even watching the videos and coding editor. It's blow my mind. It's not like a, a text editor. Let me show you. Um, so this is what it looked like. So this is the video format, right? You can see video instructor, we have their cursor, their mouse, and the code right here as well. But let's say if I pause the video, let's say I pause the video now, and then if I can, I can actually go and change this code as well as you can see you can change hey and then this one and then if you refresh as you can see we have hey right here and if you want to continue the code we can just continue and then it will go back so if we pause it's if we go back to edit and as you can see it's, so this is really cool and so there's a lot of course right now in the screen bar as well so I'm currently taking the AI engineer pass and so the link in the description if you wanted to check it out it's a really cool tool and so yeah let's get back to the main topic of today's videos my way of generating a project idea is i look around my environment and ask myself what can i do with it so a classic example is this application right here it is a drinking game that i build and i'm going to use this project whenever i go out with my friend and drink and so we use this application right here another example is i build this application for my girlfriends so she can use it to help her business so as you can see i can give you more and more examples so every project that you do you should do something that give value and help someone else solve a problem even a side project so let me give you one more example this is a spoiler for my next project as well and as you can see in my right now i always go to cafe a lot and i don't know which one is the best sometimes i go to the cafe it's feel disappointed so right now, I feel like I wanted to build an app that allow people to do cafe rating. So, and then I can just look at cafe rating and then I can go. So you can see without me going out and go to cafe without me facing this problem, I do not have any idea to build it as well. So you should do it as well. You should look around your environment and ask yourself, what can you do with it to improve your life or someone else's life? And I get it, sometimes it's really hard to come up with a project idea. It's not like, you know, uh, if I go out, it will stand out, I will have an idea. But if you feel stuck and you not doing anything about it, you know, just go take a walk and probably you will come up with some idea. Don't be stuck and don't complain and try not to search the video on YouTube and then clone their projects and put on your resume. I mean, it's okay to clone their project in the process of learning the, those uh, technology, but do not clone those projects and put that on your resume. It's not good. Like it, It's not good a story to tell someone, right? Right now, because of the project that I built, that's why I have a story to tell you that the reason that I built this project is because of this and that. And if you never build your own project before, you only clone someone else's project put on your resume and if someone else asks you hey uh, how many projects did you build or what did you do and you never have anything to tell them like so that's why I encourage you to find the idea and to generate the I build those idea build and make it into the project and share it and that's how I come up with the project ideas 
All right, so you can see how easy it is to generate a project ideas and but the hardest part is actually finishing it so tomorrow I'm going to tell you how to you know properly finish your project even I struggle as well also the next video is also advice for me and for all of you as well all right bye bye see you tomorrow all right so before we end the video I just wanted to update on the coding community so right now we have 60 people joined and as you can see right here and also tomorrow we're going to have one event right here as well the topic of the event is why you should build an online presence as a developer and right now there are six people interested and if you wanted to go and check out the discord community link in the description we're gonna have so much fun talking about it you can ask a question i give you advice on how to get started and we're gonna support each other in this community all right if you're interested go and do it okay